Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 23rd to the 29th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm, which gets it seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. So let's see what the tarot has to say. And as, and as always, the cards will tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Let's begin. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. Ooh. All right, fantastic. We will straighten everything out. I love how everything just fell out in the end. They're like, here you go. <laughs> here you go. Gotta go. All right. So we are crowned here with the Seven of Swords. And this seems to be... Yeah. I'm just reading the bottom here. This seems to be very common for this time where we're sussing out lies, where we're seeing truths, where we're understanding things more deeply, more openly, more honestly for ourselves. And we're like, no, that that's not panning out. Like certain things that we would have accepted, certain things that we would have said, oh, you know, and made excuses for, we're not anymore. And that's actually very liberating. <laughs> this is very liberating right here. And we just have one card and then moves us to this is the three of wands reverse so the horizon isn't necessarily opening up to us the way that we wanted it to or the way that we thought it would we're going to be much more focused on the inner workings of things and then it's going to be okay can i ship this out to people okay how many you know how many people can i interact with or, or places i can go or things i can do you know type of deal so that's going to be very important here where it's like okay turn it in because we're going to want to push it out and it's just it's just not quite ready yet so do be aware of that we then have the world okay so that's funny so we're focusing on the details but the world is opening to us and that's going to be a very important thing to see there's a fulfillment here there's a real sense of like oh i got this i understand this i'm moving forward like there's so much more here than meets the eye so being aware of this is going to be a very good thing because we can get focused we can get focus lost in one of these two energies, right? Either turning inward, planning it all out, making sure it's perfect, or pushing it outward, getting it to people saying, you know, close enough is good enough type of deal. And we can go one way or the other, but we need to kind of like step back between the two. We need to kind of do a little bit of, of a dance, but it's just in this little tiny square that we're doing this dance of stepping forward, stepping back, stepping forward, stepping back to the side, to the side, you know, type of thing. It's like, okay, I got this and I'm getting the rhythm of it. Right now, you're going to be working on the rhythm of things. Getting things to work harmoniously together is going to be much more important than pushing it one way or the other. It then moves us here to the five of of pentacles reversed and the five of pentacles reversed is a fantastic card like seeing the five of pentacles reversed is awesome because the five of pentacles reversed is saying i'm releasing a poverty mentality i'm releasing a sense of lack a sense of fear a sense of being overwhelmed a sense of feeling like i'm missing out so just being aware of this is going to be super super important and then moves us to the shaman which here is us in the major arcana we are represented by the hierophant in this deck it is called the shaman and so what we are going to be looking at here this is divine wisdom and i just want to read and spiritual power we cannot feel very wise or we can feel kind of disconnected from things and not very powerful so just knowing that actually those th those are lies those are going to be some of the lies that we we are really calling out during this time but we can be whenever we have ourselves represented in the major arcana right we're represented by the hierophant the shaman here Whenever we have it reversed, whenever we have ourselves reversed, it means that we can get in our own way. So the one person that we really have to watch out for during this time that can really mess us up is ourselves. We can get in our own way. We can get in our own head. So do be aware of this. It then moves us to the page of pentacles reversed. There's going to be, oh, I'm sorry, the page of swords reversed. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you're born on the cusp with Gemini, if you have a lot of air sign energy in your chart, this comes through very powerfully. Also, if you have air sign energy in your life, they are going to be being students right now. An unwilling student <laughs> is going to be what they are most definitely, but they are going to be being students. Now, 
if you are in the part of the world like I am where school is getting out and, and summer vacation is coming, you might be like, why are, why are they being students? Like if you have kids who are actually students or people in your life who are actually students, like, no, they're not being students. No, they are going to be learning things, getting an understanding of things, looking at things in different ways. And they are going to be being pushed and tested in ways that are outside of their comfort zone. This can also be for us connecting with our inner child, connecting with our inner voice, connecting with our creativity, our words, our communication, and seeing where, when we were little, you know, we, we started to doubt ourselves and how that doubt has perpetuated throughout our lives is going to be a very big thing here. So if we do the child meditation, taking a deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you, and visualize yourself here, Taurus, as the adult you are now holding your arms open and letting the child that you once were run into those arms and swoop that kid up in the biggest hug and tell them, I love you. I will always be here for you. I will always value you. I will always value what you have to say. I will always listen to you. You are powerful. You are, you're beautiful. You, you are me. And I love us. I love us so much. And see how that feels. You know, stay with that energy for a bit. If you need to, pause and just connect with it. It brings us then to the page of cups. We're, we have water sign energy here, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. If we have water sign energy in our chart, if we have water sign energy in our lives, it's student energy, absolutely. But it's not like, oh, I don't want to be. It's like, oh, no, I'm going to learn about this. I'm curious. I'm diving deeper into my emotions, my heart, what I want, what I love. That's going to be really, really important to us. And with people around us, that is going to be really important as well. With the eight, this is the eight of cups. And this is very interesting. So it says here, quest and renewal. Now, I always see the eight of cups as walking away from what you once thought you would love. There, there's a profound ending to the eight of cups. But there's also that sense of like, I choose me. And I see that in the quest and the renewal part of, of this card where it's like, I choose me. I need to walk the path that my heart loves, that is right for me, that I'm passionate about. And, and I'm choosing me. I'm choosing to embrace my heart, my soul, my passion, my desire. And that is an astoundingly powerful and beautiful thing. Now let's see what spirit has to say here, Taurus. And if you are interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a rose in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So hit the bell notification so you can be notified when the winner is announced. And if you are interested in purchasing a private reading, a private personalized meditation, or a healing, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. So let's see what the tarot, let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. So we have two here, devoted and white knight, white light. We are devoted to our healing, which is absolutely spectacular. We are devoted to a greater understanding of ourselves. We, we are going to feel so passionately drawn to something during this time. It's going to be different for each and every one of us, but it's also going to have us finding our center again. It's also going to be something that we love to do when we were little. It was just like, it, it, it pulled at our heart. We, we loved it. And, and now we're like, oh, okay, I'm coming back to that. I'm coming back to me. And it's, it's very important and it's very powerful. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides, angels. Here we have rebirth. Now this is the earth star chakra located six inches below our feet. And here with rebirth, we can be kind of hesitant, you know, connecting with the earth star chakra, connecting with letting ourselves transform, letting ourselves move forward, letting ourselves become different. We're like, listen, even if this isn't where we like to be and we're like, oh, I don't want this to be my forever. We are going to be seeing ourselves transforming us, stepping forward into the power of what we want, but we're going to be hesitant about it. We're, we're a little bit afraid. So being aware of that is going to be super important. It moves us then to our, our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly, guide this reading. And this is the seven of pentacles. So it's funny that we're hesitant 
about our transformation. However, with the seven of pentacles reverse, we, we're just not patient at all. And that does seem to be a theme of this time where we just want to rush things forward. We just want to go after things. And we're going to see that, especially if we're born on the cusp with Aries, that's going to be a huge part of us, or we have strong Aries in our chart. You know, check out that video because that's a huge part of us during this time. But we're not, we're not suffering fools. We're not being taken advantage of. We're embracing our voice. We're embracing what we want. We're looking at things more openly, more honestly than we have before. And we're seeing ourselves being driven forward with determination. But, but really, we, we're done with sneaks. I'm interested to see what it says here. Preparation and, um, resourcefulness so here preparation and resourcefulness is is what we're, we're preparing to let go of a lot of nonsense that just doesn't need to be a part of us and we just don't want in our lives and as we do so with the three of wands reverse there is that sense of you know okay so let me backtrack just a minute the three of wands in the rider weight smith deck is a person standing on the edge of a cliff with three wands by them, but they're standing by a port. Ships are going in. I, I would always assume it's a port. They can see ships going out, ships coming in on the horizon. And there's a sense of us standing there, you know, looking at the greatness that's moving us forward, that's connecting with us, that's opening up doors. With it reversed, it's like we're not standing there. We're not seeing it, but we want to be. So this is a time where instead of saying, okay, it has to go outward, it has to become so much more. It's like, no, it has to come inward. It has to be illuminated within our own lives, our own horizons, our own self. And then that's where the world comes in. And it's like, once we see it within ourselves, the world opens and we're like, oh, I got this. I understand this. This isn't as complicated as I thought it was. And we start to move from the five of a pentacles mentality, you know, of I'm just not good enough. I'll never measure up. I'll never have what it is that I want. I'm always going to be searching. I'm always going to be on the outside looking in. And there's a real sense of the energy here, Taurus, of like, you know, the heck with that. I'm done being on the outside. I'm done having it be so hard all the time. And I'm stepping into me. Now, it's very interesting that five, which is a freedom number here, we have repeated. And five, you know, five repeated, but five is reversed. And there's the sense of, do I get to be free? we're stepping into freedom. It's like, that's the rebirth energy coming forward. It's like, do I step into my freedom or do, or do I, or do I not? You know, and it sounds like a silly thing to ask, but because who's going to say, oh no, I don't, I don't want to be free. No, thank you. You know, here it, it's going to be so important to us to say, what do I want? And what does freedom look like to me? Because Taurus, we're not, the crazy people who are like, oh, you know, it just looks like, like absolute chaos. Like that just overwhelms us. <laughs> it doesn't look like that. We need to have a plan. We need to have a, a bigger picture of it. We need to see it first. Why do we need to see it first? Because we are magnificent manifestors. If we see it within our mind, you know, the positive or negative, if we see it, we can manifest it forward. So we need to be very careful here with, you know, choosing freedom, and that's however that looks and however that resonates within our lives, we are going to see that we're choosing ourselves, but we get in our own way. And it will be very easy. It's always very easy to go back to, to the mentality of I can't and lack and overwhelmed. So just being aware of that is super important. With the, with the page of, of swords here reversed, we need to listen to our own inner child voice. We've silenced it for a really long time. And it can be that we silenced it, you know, and became very successful or we silenced it and, you know, did what we thought we were supposed to do type of thing. And now it is time to say, okay, let me connect with me again because I need to show up. Now we can also silence our inner voice because we can think, oh, that, I, I'm just silly. You know, I don't measure up. I wasn't as good as this person or that person. So I don't get to have X, Y, Z. And what's very interesting here is is the way that we compare ourselves. And it's just a very human thing. You don't need to, to dance to the beat of anybody else's drum, but your own. If you're a late bloomer, be a late bloomer. Say, you know what? At least I'm blooming. Some people live their whole lives and never do. If you are an early bloomer, say, you know, oh my gosh, I got to be an early bloomer. That's so fun. But looking here and connecting with your thoughts, connecting with your words, connecting with what you desire, and connecting just simply with you, 
without the comparing and contrasting to everybody else, that's going to be really important because we're going to have a tendency here to overthink, to overanalyze, to very much poo-poo and diminish the wishes that we had when we were little, which makes us feel small and overwhelmed. So just being aware of that. And it moves us to the page of cups. And the page of cups is being a student of our heart, of what we love, of what we want, of the way that we move forward. This is going to be a lot more easy for us or a lot easier for us because here this is the mind, the thoughts, and we're going to want them to be perfect. We're going to say, I need to gather up all the knowledge. I need to have all the facts. But with our emotions, we can be like, well, that's how I feel. You know, I don't really need to extrapolate on feeling. It is just simply how I feel. So being aware of that as well is going to be very important. With the eight of, of cups, there is something we're walking away from. There is something that we are saying, you know what, that must that might have fit me once upon a time. It doesn't anymore. And I'm not really here for, for trying to make it be what it is not. And I'm choosing me. And that's going to be very important too. We're starting a quest. We're renewing our soul and ourselves. But there's a powerful ending here. You know, the Eight of Cups is an ending as severe as a divorce. It doesn't have to be a bad ending. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> people say, like when you get divorced, it's like, oh, say, say congratulations instead of I'm sorry. You know, some people say that, some people don't. But here, it's like, I need to embrace my path. And I need to embrace me. Because I'm done with the lies. I'm done with the chaos. I'm done with the hurt. I'm done with the pain. I'm choosing my path. And it's not just in relationships, it's going to be in every aspect of our lives. It's like, I'm choosing this path that is right for me and that is aligned with my soul and myself. It moves us then to our subconscious spirit message, which is focus reverse. Yeah, we're a little bit all over the place. We can see that with the, the Hierophant reverse. We, we have a hard time focusing, saying what it is that we want. We can also feel kind of a bit like we don't fit in. It's like, we feel like, ugh, you know, I'm just feeling like, you know, when you wear a shirt that's like a little bit too tight or something that's a little bit too tight and it's like, oh, it just isn't as comfortable as I would like it to be. And that's kind of how we feel at times in our own skin. It's like, oh no. But here with the Hierophant as well, which is us, you know, we like to have the sense of this is where I belong. This is what I understand. But we're also questioning that during this time. We're looking at things and we're saying, okay, you know, I might not feel like I belong here, or this isn't what I, I really wanted, or this isn't what I'm, I'm building towards, moving towards. How do I need to pivot? How do I need to, to choose the path that is right for me? And what is the path that is right for me? And so slowing things down and connecting with our inner child, seeing ourselves is going to be a very powerful thing to do. It moves us to our chakra energy, which is holistic health, the root chakra, one of my favorite cards. And here it is being in tuned with our bodies. It is listening to our bodies. It is listening to our hearts, our stomachs, our souls, and it, it, our brain. It is really connecting with us. You know, I was listening to somebody and they said, we treat our cars better than we treat our bodies. And, and that's really true. The majority of us, that's true. So here with holistic health, it is, it is saying, what do I need? What is my body telling me? And how do I move forward in that knowledge? It's just slowing things down, and connecting. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. And this is the death card. This is Scorpio energy. Time frame is October 23rd to November 22nd. There's a blockage here, but what's very interesting is the death card is the rebirth card, right? It's one of the most positive cards in the tarot. And with it we reverse, it's like, no, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to stay where I'm comfortable. I, it's going to be just like this. And we're, we're fighting a change. And because we're fighting a change, we feel overwhelmed or we can feel small or, or a lot of our energy is being siphoned away. And we're like, I don't know why I'm always so tired. So just be aware of this. And it moves us then to our tarot energy, which is the two of swords. What's very interesting here is that there's going to be a path that opens up that we didn't even think of, like that we didn't think was possible. And this is decisions and directions. Yeah, we're making decisions and we're finding our direction. You know, we're finding our compass, our due north, you know, we're going in the direction that is right for us. And we're also taking a path that is right for us. But it's kind of surprising. We're like, wow, I didn't realize this, or I didn't think of this, or I didn't know this. So being aware of this is going to be a very important thing. All right. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe.
Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Taurus, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.